As said, my name is Lori Cohen and I am the Executive Director of the Beagle Alliance. I just want to take a moment to thank Debbie and the Winnipeg Humane Society for organizing this event and of course to all of you who are still standing here in the rain. Thank you. Uh, the mission of the Beagle Alliance is to rehome animals from testing facilities in Canada. And while we do advocate for non-animal use in research, there are many animals in laboratories across this country whose welfare we're concerned about and who could go on to live free and loved lives after study. Our experience personally is with beagles who are the most used breed of dog in testing and that's globally. We know that they're made very sick, they're disabled while they live in these facilities. They live in cages and their treatment falls short of what is normally required under Canadian anti-cruelty laws. We know that most of them are bred into research and never see the light of day. They suffer from PTSD and anxiety, which reflects the trauma that they've been through. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Good? Okay. Closer? Okay. They have nightmares. They are triggered and they react the same way we do with the fight, flight, or freeze response. They've never been permitted to be real dogs. They don't run up to us. They don't wag their tails. Instead, they cower in corners. And once they're adopted or fostered, if that happens, it can take weeks or months for them to even play with a toy. Close your eyes, and I see many dogs here today. Close your eyes and imagine somebody harming your dog, it's a horrifying thought for all of us. To date, the Beagle Alliance has placed 52 dogs in homes. 31 of those dogs were from research facilities. All 31 of those dogs were from facilities in the US. We have reached out to both public and private facilities in Canada with little to no response. None of these laboratories in our country are required by law to release these animals after study. Over 10,000 dogs were reported to be used. According to the Canadian Council on Animal Care, the CCAC, in research in 2021, which is their latest statistic. The CCAC is the only regulatory body in Canada overseeing these laboratories, but it's voluntary and private facilities who have their own funding need not report to the CCAC. So that 10,000 is far greater. That's only what is reported. These are the three issues that concern the Beagle Alliance. Number one, there is no federal law governing animals used in science and only one province has a dedicated statute concerning animal use and that's the Animals for Research Act in Ontario. We would like to see a ban on the intentional killing of animals used in science unless the welfare of that animal is indicated. This means that when their scientific usefulness ends, there is a mandatory rehoming for eligible animals to suitable homes and organizations. We know from experience that as traumatized as these dogs are, they are resilient, they are forgiving, and they can live many years outside of the cage as opposed to inside of the cage. They become family. Just ask our adopters. Number two, greater transparency. As taxpayers and concerned citizens, we should have access to which facilities house these animals, which species, how many, and if in fact there is an actual benefit with data for us humans while they're in research. Are these animals in science really helping the humans in this country? No way. Let me add that this is not a criticism of the CCAC. It is the responsibility of our legislators. In a democratic society, our government is accountable to Canadians. Number three, that funding becomes available for facilities developing non-animal methods in science. We recently attended the World Congress on Alternatives and Animal Use in Life Sciences, hosted by the CCAC and the Canadian Centre for Alternatives to Animal Methods. Future technologies were already being discussed by delegates from other countries. We can do this. It is time as a province and a country that we stop being so secretive about animals in science and more freely acknowledge 
that animal testing happens in Canada. We can do things differently and we need to come together to discuss how better to look after these animals. That said, we are asking parties to consider the welfare of animals when representing their constituents and that unnecessary harm is being reduced while we move to more humane methods in science. And we need to do this without judgment and together as a community. Our government is a voice for the people and we are a voice for the animals. Thank you.